If you type USA dictatorship into Google, you'll find numerous warnings from media personalities and academics that Donald Trump could become a dictator if he were to be re-elected. The American deep state and the liberal establishment are convinced that the orange man is a danger to democracy. So convinced indeed that they are prepared to do anything to stop him returning to the White House, including putting him on trial and potentially into prison. But Tucker Carlson brilliantly called this out in his later Twitter broadcast, in which he heaps ridicule on those who deny that America is already a dictatorship under Joe Biden. Biden ticks all the boxes. He puts his main political rival on trial, he abuses power for financial gain for himself and his son, who is apparently above the law. He runs a highly militaristic state which repeatedly attacks other countries. And he even released a sinister video implying not only that underage children should be sexualized, but also that minors somehow all belong to the state. Mataka is a hard act to follow, but there's one point he does not make, and it is this. Fear of dictatorship whether real or manufactured, is itself the path to dictatorship. People assume that dictatorship is something that happens only in foreign third world countries. Think of military officers in sunglasses wearing all the medals. But what they overlook is that dictatorships come to power because they perceive a danger to the state, just as liberals perceive Trump to be a danger to their deep state, which he might well be. And whether they are right-wing dictatorships, as in Latin America, facing down a communist threat, or left-wing ones, such as in Cuba, North Korea, China, or the Soviet Union, facing down a foreign, often US-backed conspiracy against them, dictatorships have one thing in common. Confronted with what they regard as a danger to their very existence, they seize power by suspending lawfulness and introducing emergency rule instead. They become brutal in order to forestall brutality, whether real or imagined. When we hear commentators on MSNBC saying Fox News should be banned from military bases because it attacked Biden, we can see that the speaker regards the American army as the main basis of Biden's power. When we hear a congresswoman say, perhaps as a Freudian slip, that Trump should be shot, we can hear the first stirrings of violent revolution otherwise known as civil war. The elite's obsession with Trump is, in reality, a hatred of the American people who voted for him. With that mentality, the idea that the people represent a danger, any amount of brutality and violence can be justified. And that is the very definition of dictatorship. Dictatorship is indeed a danger in America. The dictatorship of the American deep state, whose figurehead is Joe Biden, and which is so deeply convinced that it is morally right that it is prepared to do literally anything to maintain its grip on power.